I'm Levi Jacobson, Wildlife Resource Management Supervisor for the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. So our WMA is we manage them to provide optimal wildlife reproduction as well as hunting opportunities. So our WMA is across the state. We do a number of different things such as grass plantings, tree plantings, food plots. We also manage our grasslands, whether that be by haying or grazing with a local cooperator or also using prescribed burns to invigorate those native grasses. A few weeks ago here, we did a prescribed fire. This is a native grass planting that was planted about 10 years ago. So we mowed fire breaks in the fall and got everything prepped and then when the time was right and conditions were good, we did a prescribed burn here. On this piece, it's about 25 acres here. It had been a number of years since anything had been done, so it was getting quite a, a thatch layer of old dead grass and litter and stuff, so a burn goes through and cleans that up and it also helps reduce the cool season invasives such as Kentucky bluegrass and smooth brome. We're hoping with the burn it'll invigorate those native grasses that we planted a few years ago. So with less competition and stuff, those things should thrive this year and really produce. So on the day of the burn, we will get the weather forecast. We do a spot weather forecast with the National Weather Service. We give them the exact GPS locations of the burn and they'll give us an hour for hour forecast with the wind, relative humidity and that stuff. And we make sure that the winds aren't gonna come up or we get something changed and goofy on us so that the fire will get away. We notify the the local authorities such as the fire department, sheriff's office, and state radio. We also notify any close neighbors that will, so they, if they see smoke they know what's going on and they don't get alarmed. So once everybody gets here we will have a meeting quick and there's one person is assigned the burn boss for the whole burn so they they pretty much go through the plan of how we're going to do it, who's going to be on what equipment, who's going to be where, then they go over the weather also. So once everybody gets their assignment we start out with a back burn kind of burning into the wind so it doesn't get away from us. And then once we get everything contained and wrapped around, we'll light it on the other side and then it goes pretty fast and the head fire meets up with the back burn typically. Lots of safety, so everybody on the burn has to have so many classes and special hours to be even qualified to be on the burn and then the burn boss has even more extensive training. So we, we practice safety on it. It's a very serious matter on these burns. We don't want anybody getting hurt or getting away on us. We always have plenty of water and have typically pumpers and engines and UTV pumpers so everybody has water and their fireproof clothing as well as hard hats and helmets so that's a requirement to be on the burn as well as leather gloves so we don't want anybody getting injured when we do these. But we've been using prescribed fire for years on these wildlife management areas and also U.S. Fish and Wildlife, they do a number of them also. These prairie grasses really evolved with fires like historically, you know, they, the fires would come through and there's nothing really to prevent them and then the bison would come through and graze those off in the green areas. So. A lot of our native grasses evolved with periodic fires. We try to do it in the spring to target, to hit those cool season invasives. When they're starting to grow a little bit, a burn come through and really set them back and allow room for our native grasses to come in. And that's one of the things with these prescribed burns that also helps limit the wildfires. When we take away that fuel source, it, it just stops. If a, or a wildfire was coming through here, it would pretty much stop at this spot here just because there's nothing left to burn. So a prescribed burn can really help limit the wildfires. This will benefit wildlife by bringing in a little more diversity to this grass stand. Once these cool season invasives come in, they kind of take over and create a monoculture. And that really limits the fawning and broodering and just overall reproduction for wildlife. It was completely black. There was nothing there, so it, it responds well and it's doing what we want it to do.